Hi guys, I wanted to bring you guys my monthly favorites. Um, I have a bunch of products that I'm kind of scattered about. And I'm just really excited to bring you guys this video. I missed you guys so much and just doing a, like videos in general. I haven't been doing as many lately just because work has been really hectic for me. So uh, yeah, let's just get right into the video. Woo! <laughs> All right, so the um, first product I wanna mention is this Rimmel Insta Fix and Matte Translucent Powder. Um, it's not really translucent, translucent. It has a very white cast to it. If you're very light in skin tone, um, this will be great for you just because of the fact that it's brightening. But if you have a darker skin tone, unfortunately, it probably will wash you out. Like you can tell, it has a very white cast to it. And even, you can kind of tell on my hand, it has almost, it has a white cast to it. So it does make you look a little bit ashy. Now, if you are very fair, like I am, for example, it will kind of just brighten up. I use it a little bit in my T-zone underneath my eyes. Sometimes I'll even use it to chisel out my cheekbone just a tiny bit. If, for example, I messed up a little bit and my cheekbones are looking at chiseled. But it's just nice for that reason. And especially this is kind of a go-to item during the summer months because of the fact that it is so mattifying. Why is it so bright? Wow, it's like really reflective right now. It's just so mattifying. It does a great job with that. And uh, that's pretty much all I gotta say. It's from their new, this collection I think is more geared towards like teenagers because it does say Insta. And then it has a bunch of hashtags like all over the powder. I don't know if you guys can see, but it has like a crap load of hashtags everywhere, which is cute. I don't know, but I just like it because it actually does a really great job mattifying my skin. Um, next, I've been also enjoying this Maybelline concealer. It's their Fit Me concealer in the shade Translucent. Um, translucent. Oh my god, it's in the shade Fair 15. It's been one of those days today where I'm just like ridiculously unable to speak. It's just one of those days. So here is the shade right up there in the corner. Um, now this product, I heard about it from Jaclyn Hill and a bunch of other YouTubers really enjoy it. Now, I don't like it because of the coverage properties that it gives off. It's not the best when it comes to coverage. I actually just like this for like areas where I don't need much coverage. So I'll use it like on my forehead to brighten the forehead, underneath the cheekbones to chisel them out a little bit. Um, any areas where I don't need a lot of full coverage. Underneath my eyes though, because I do need full coverage, this doesn't really do the best job. It is kind of a light um, coverage and if you want to build it up to medium or higher, unfortunately what happens is that it gets very cakey, at least in my experience it does. Um, a lot of people love this though because you know it's just very very lightweight and it doesn't look heavy on the skin but when you really start piling it up that's when I notice that it starts looking heavier. Um, so like I said it's really great for like every day to day to use just for areas where you don't need the most amount of coverage. I feel like that was pretty pretty good explanation. <laughs> Alrighty, um, I also wanted to mention that this Rimmel um, eyeliner, it's in the shade in Nude, I'm actually wearing it today just to really brighten the eyes and let, like pop them and make them look really awake. Um, it's just a very simple eyeliner, this is what it looks like. And I had a friend of mine ask me recently, she's like, what are you wearing on your waterline? It looks like you look really awake right now. And I was just like, oh, I'm just wearing this, this Rimmel um, eyeliner. And she was like, whoa, okay, cool, can you let me know what the name is and whatnot and I was like yeah sure not a problem but that just made me think about it and I'm like shoot I should really include that in the favorites video because I use this all the time and it's just such a great product um and it does a really awesome job especially in the mornings when I'm looking tired and like just not in the mood for anything this just does an awesome job in really opening up my eyes especially in the inner corners if I put a little bit just right under my waterline in the inner corner kind of it just really opens them up and just makes them look a lot more natural and awake not you know deprived of sleep and exhausted yay <laughs> um i also wanted to mention a foundation now i think i did mention this in my last favorite video but i do have a little bit more of a new combination that i like to do with it so i wanted to mention it again um and this is the instant age rewind uh foundation in the color 200 creamy natural this is what the bottle looks like and it's a drugstore foundation so yes it is affordable and it's maybelline so Maybelline's products are decently good um, but my only issue with most drugstore foundations is the fact that it usually doesn't last well on my skin because I have quite oily, oily skin it usually doesn't last well and it usually transfers like crazy this one actually lasts really well it lets my oils come out in a really natural way and in an almost like dewy radiant way so I don't feel bad if I'm getting oily I'm just like oh okay it's fine 
Um, but if you do want to have a really long wear with this foundation and make it look like super, super full coverage, what I like to do is blend the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation in with it. The Estee Lauder Foundation, I'm in the shade Desert Beige, and it's just, they mix together really perfectly and really give you like the most flawless, seamless look. Um, this one, after about, I would say, eight hours, it's, and if you haven't blotted, it will transfer a little bit, but if you mix it in with this, there's no transfer, you're perfect, your makeup is amazing, and you look like just this flawless, beautiful creature. So, big love right there. Um, I also wanted to mention this lip product. It's the Kiss and Blush Baby Doll um, Lip... I don't know what it's really... Lip... Like, mousse? Lip... Eh, lip mousse, I think that would be a, right. Yeah, okay. Um, and it's uh, by A. Saint Laurent. That's what the packaging looks like. Obviously, their packaging is going to be beautiful and just perfect and amazing because you're spending $40 on a lipstick. And the applicator itself, like, look at the applicator. It's so beautiful. It has, like, the perfect little, like, tip on it just to get right into the little, like, crevices on your lips. And it just, it's so beautiful. Um, the shade that I have, I would love to tell you, but unfortunately, mine's completely worn off. But it basically, what this color looks like is a very dusty, um, neutral rose color. It's almost like a dusty rose nude. So that's the color right there. And I have it on my lips as well today, so you can kind of tell more. But I'll leave the color linked down below, um, or even I might just link it from Sephora if I can, um, just to make your life a little bit easier. Because unfortunately, on the back of this, the color shade name all of that good stuff is completely worn off which is my only pet peeve with Yves Saint Laurent is because they do these little tags and it just wears right off so only downside but this color is absolutely amazing it's like a whipped mousse and it just feels so nice on the lips it feels so smooth and soft and it almost dries down a little bit after um, a tiny bit of time and almost feels close to a liquid lipstick but nowhere near as drying as a liquid lipstick so i'm kind of obsessed with it it's very velvety that's what i would describe it as yeah um alrighty let me make sure that i'm in focus here am i in focus that's a little bit better all right um so i also ended up placing a pretty large ColourPop order that i'm kind of obsessed with um ColourPop has been killing it lately they've been all over the place and they've just been doing an awesome job um so i'm kind of impressed with a lot of the products that i got from them the first pa thing that i got from them is a palette and it's their cute af ColourPop palette and it's just adorable this palette is so cute it's like look at it it's like just tiny and the colors are just so perfect for fall so the colors look like this. My go-to colors in this palette are going to be these two right here. This one in the corner plus this one up here. And I just mix the two together and really go in the crease with them. And it just looks so flawless and so beautiful. Um, and it really does give you this very fall, like, coppery look to your eyes. Or sorry, berry kind of look. And then if you want to mix a little bit of kind of a coppery, like, pumpkin kind of spice shade, it's, this one right here is beautiful. And it's in the color note to self um and then my transition colors that i'll usually always use are going to be these two up here to kind of blend out plus this one right on the bottom here this one is called chauffeur and it's just the most beautiful like simple brown color i haven't dabbled into this yellow but that's like my next thing i'm like so excited for that yellow color because that's one of the reasons i got this palette i was like i want a good stable yellow color and that looks like it's going to do the trick basically um, alrighty, that was the first thing that I've been loving from them. I've also been loving their pressed shadow, and this one is just adorable. It's like this galactic, beautiful shade. Comes with a little mirror, but the little mirror is gonna be blinding right now. That's what the color looks like, and it's just really simple. That's that's what I enjoy most about it. They're just their packaging is simple. It's just plain white, and unfortunately, plain white does get dirty, but they kind of almost have a slippery feel to them so you can clean it off pretty easily if it does get dirty um that's the color right there it is so gorgeous and it's like a foiled kind of shadow it looks like they almost took a pigment and pressed it down and created this beautiful color and it's just so reflective i'm, I'm obsessed basically um the other color that i have from them is their super shock eyeshadow in the color paisley this is perfect if you want a barely there look if you want that model um, very simple just pack some of this on your lid um, do a little something in the crease and you just have this beautiful barely there shimmery crease 
it's just so simplistic but it gives you the most put together look especially if you're for example if you do a red lip with this kind of color on your lid it just the most simplistic beautiful effortless kind of look going on basically that's the reason why i got it it actually reminds me a lot of the urban decay um like shock eyeshadows those are really gorgeous and they're really reflective and this does pretty much the same thing but the a fraction of the cost it's about five bucks and those are like i think 25 bucks each so impressed with that um next i have this color pop of brow pencil it's in the color bangin brunette and now <laughs> it says bangin brunette but it's like pretty much brunette to black like it's a pretty dark color so i usually have to blend it in with a couple other things right now i have it on my eyebrows but it is blended with the nyx um eyebrow pencil in the color chocolate and i'm also using the uh, a Maybelline eyebrow fiber gel product that I mentioned in my last favorites video I'm also using that as well so to lighten it up a little bit because this is way too dark by itself it said brunette but I swear to god it's not brunette it's it's a shade darker than brunette that's the color right there like you can tell it's it's a little like it looks like it would be okay but then when you put it on your eyebrows you're like wow that is dark so um, I would go a shade just under this if you kind of are looking for that perfect brunette brunette shade um but if your hair is really dark like if you have like brunette to black hair then this would be pretty much perfect it comes with a little spoolie in the end and the consistency and the feel of this is exactly like the nyx well actually not exactly it's very similar to the nyx eyebrow pencils except it has almost a little bit more of a drying for dry formula so in my opinion it's even more perfect because it's a little bit more transfer proof the nyx eyebrow pencils if you honestly smudge it upwards it goes it's gone it you look like a freak if you do that with this it's a little bit harder to move around which is something i really do appreciate um and this product Alrighty, cool next i want to mention this 21 essential benefits uh purology color fantastic multitasking hair beautifier for perfecting color treated hair this is awesome. What I do is usually I'll take a shower, I'll wrap my head up, hair up in like a little turban, let it dry for a minute, and then I'll just air dry it or like even dry it a little bit with the towel. And before I let it fully dry, I'll spritz this basically from my ear down in my hair. Because what I really have color treated right now is from the ears down. Everything else like right up from here up, it's my own actual hair color. Um, and it just gives your hair the softest feel to it. It just, it smells so good. Oh my god, it smells amazing. It smells like a salon. Like you just went to the salon and spits and like they did your hair. That's what you feel like because it smells so good. And it really does protect your hair. It um, treats your hair so that the color doesn't completely fade out or bleed out of your hair. Uh, and it's just a really fantastic product. And I, I can't remember who I heard it about from. And I saw it in a video, but I can't remember who it was. And it's just, I've been loving it and really appreciating, appreciating the fact that somebody else talked about it. And I really wanted to talk about it as well so that other people try it out because this is just a really, really awesome hair product. Um, and yeah. <laughs> uh, next, I wanted to talk about a highlighting palette. I did mention this a while back, but I've been using it literally every single day lately, so I wanted to kind of talk about talk about it again. And I do have it on today. That's where I'm getting this glow from. Uh, and I've been using two colors in particular. It's the sorry, the name of this palette is the Black Highlight Palette from BH Cosmetics. I hate the fact that it's black packaging though, because oh my god, is it getting dirty? So there are the colors. Oh, so beautiful. The two colors that I'm constantly using is this one right here, and this one is called Illusion. It's like a pinky um, duochrome shade, and this one right here, which is called Strobe. Strobe is very like white, frosty highlight, and Illusion is very like pinky um, with a blue undertone. But what I like about it is the fact that when you mix the two together, it gives you this beautiful, like, kind of pinky. Um, like two-toned natural glowing from within look to your skin and especially if you're somebody that likes to use blush like i'm somebody that uses blush on a daily basis if i'm doing my makeup i have to have blush on um i like to do a color like for highlight that kind of emphasizes the blush color so if i'm doing this the illusion color because it has pink tones in it it will emphasize the color of my blush a little bit and give me more of that like glowing from within kind of look uh, but yeah, no, it's just such an affordable palette. It's about it's under it's under 20 bucks I believe but they're also always running promotions at BH cosmetics. So you'll get this for like a Fraction of the cost of some of the other highlight palettes that are out there right now. Like I know um, 
Anastasia Beverly Hills. They have one that's really similar with a bunch of like really cool shades in it. But this one is just so much cheaper uh, and it just looks amazing on the skin. The only thing I do want to mention is that the shade uh, strobe, the one I was telling you guys that I use all the time, this one unfortunately is a little bit chunkier, so I use that very sparingly. Um, what I'll do is I'll take a fan brush, I'll dip it in both, and then I'll just go over my cheekbones, and then I'll take a beauty blender and kind of blend it in a little bit so that it gives me more of a natural look to the cheeks. Uh, but yeah, if you want a blinding highlight, you can get it with this. And you get multiple shades and they're really fun shades too like this blue over here the blue is actually super fun because it gives you like literally a true blue highlight and even laser it gives you like um an undertone of green with it so it's just super cool and really affordable i'm gonna try to get through the rest of this video really quickly because my lighting is absolutely going to shit right now it's completely like dying on me like i don't know how it's possible but canada weather oh my god it's bad <laughs> um not working out right now. Uh, I wanted to mention a tool, which is epilator. So I've been using an epilator for the past, I don't wanna say decade, but I'm getting close to it. I've been almost using an epilator for a decade now, which makes me laugh because that I've never used to be a fan of using this. I used to dread this, but now I'm actually just so thankful for it. So I started off with shading and it made my hair grow back so much more coarse and uncomfortably coarse at one point then i went to waxing but i couldn't do it myself so i had to always go to a salon which cost a lot of money and then i decided well there has to be a better option so i tried all the different like creams that you can use and none of them worked whatsoever so this was the thing that i landed to lastly and it's by Philips, and it's basically, it has um, one, two, three, four, five, six. It has seven, six prongs to it at the very top. It has two speeds. I usually just go one speed up, and that's about it. That's the most I need. Um, what it feels like, to give you guys an idea, is basically seven tweezers plucking hairs at the same time. Now, I know that sounds absolutely frightening, but it's so fast that you don't even notice it. And it is a little bit painful, but the more you use it, the more you get used to it, and it's not as bad, in my opinion, at least. Um... For women and even people that, like that identify as women it's such a pain in the ass to constantly shave or you're just always trying to find new ways to basically remove your hair and be smooth and flawless and it's just so difficult and i know that not everybody can afford laser so this is just an option for people that are just really struggling with for example shaving or even just waxing it's just it, it becomes a chore and it's just painful and this gives you a little bit of a better option because it doesn't pull your skin with it it just pulls the hairs individually which allows your skin to stay nice and firm um and it's just it's not expensive it's about 50 bucks and it lasts you like this little guy right here has lasted me about two years now uh it's just it's worth it honestly in my opinion it's a little bit of an it's a small investment that's really ends up paying off in long term i've used this on my arms my legs i've used it under my arms but that's been so painful worth it but very very painful i'm gonna just point that out um i wouldn't suggest using this on your face or anything like that but any areas that you just are uncomfortable with and you want to remove your hair that wouldn't be too painful or you can manage with this is just an amazing tool and it when your hair does grow back it usually takes about a week or two longer to grow back and it's just way more like soft and it's not prickly and painful and it doesn't feel weird so yeah just a great alternative um, all right, lastly, the only other product I want to talk about was actually a pair of shoes, which I know sounds absolutely crazy because I never talk about shoes on my channel or anything like that, but I've been loving these shoes so much. Um, and these ones are by Michael Kors. They're a pair of booties, and this is what they look like. Mine are obviously very worn and loved. Um, they're a full leather shoe. They have a tough base to them. Um, the inside is also leather and they have a little bit of an elastic part right here which you know what shoes like this usually are a pain to get on because of this weird elastic part but this one is actually just so easy to work with it's just so simple and I love the little back detail where it actually says Michael Kors with the gold I think that's just so cute it's just so minimal and everything else is just black and simple um i got these last year but i noticed that they brought them out again this year so that's why i wanted to mention them to you guys because i like i said i've just been wearing them non-stop and they just look so cute with anything and everything that you wear um so yeah i've just really been enjoying them and they are kind of pricey they're about i think in canada i paid about 300 bucks for them but they are all leather and they do look 
absolutely phenomenal on they give you the most beautiful elongated look to your legs and so obsessed with it so yeah that's my shoe favorite um let me know if there's anything that you guys have any questions about or want more info about and if there's any videos that you guys kind of want to see next as well um i'm trying to, i'm going to try to make more videos honestly but it's kind of hard just because i have a full like workload at um, my actual job and this is just something I try to do almost as a hobby, but I love doing it, so I want to do as much of it as I can. Um, don't forget to subscribe and like.